All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Valhelsia 5, guys. Last episode, we set up the enchanting system. It's amazing. I actually moved it from in here over to our area up there. Pretty sure I showed that in the video. But yes, now it means that this area is so empty and I don't know what to put here. Um, but yeah, we're going to get right into it. Um, check it out. So I've got Looting 3 and Breaking 3, Sharpness 3, Soulbound, Sweeping Edge 3, and Leech 1. This is a fantastic sword. I've got an Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, Silk Touch pickaxe, and an Unbreaking uh, 3, Efficiency 5, Fortune 3 pickaxe. I enchanted the Diamond Axe and our Diamond Shovel. So now we have lots of goodies. I didn't get around to the armor because uh, we don't really have that many diamonds to spare. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot of mining off camera. So yeah, we're just going to Get right into it today um as you can tell from the title we are going to be getting into create and this is a very good i don't know why i've started to talk like a dracula i'm just kidding anyway we're gonna need to make a bunch of these water wheels we're gonna need to make some cog wheels and first of all we're gonna need to make some shafts which require anisite alloy which require these now we do have two different options here to use iron nuggets or zinc now i have been gathering zinc so preferably I'd like to use this um, Let's see it's 12 items per blazer. I didn't realize it was that good uh, But yeah, now we have like infinite fuel um, Because of the farm so that is fantastic um, The blaze farm and I guess we'll go ahead um, You know what we can put this in the enrichment chamber and get a couple more ingots out of this There really isn't a good way to get um like doubling your ores or anything like that. Fortune, I believe, is going to be our best way because using the engineer's hammer, we just get one, one to one. Um, everything else, yeah, that we've searched for, you really, you really don't get a whole lot. That gives you iron wood. So this is the best bet we have. We get about 25% more. So for every three ingots, we get a fourth one, which is cool. But yeah, it's just kind of, kind of difficult. Yeah. So we turn 19. Uh, into 25 so we got an additional six uh, ingots out of that which is you know pretty good you know that's six more that we didn't have to mine uh, still it's not not the best ever but uh, I'm not really gonna complain too much uh, but yeah here we go so we have our zinc ingots now is it one no it's a zinc nugget very cool okay so that gives us quite a bit we should have some andesite down here yep I did have a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and create the andesite alloys um, that gives us a pretty good amount. Yes. All right, so we made the shafts here, which is just two, on, two of those on top of it. And then a cogwheel is just us combining this with a piece of wood. Is there a cool way to make this? Yeah, so it's, that's actually super simple to make those. Very cool, that's a big cogwheel. Uh, we are low on wood. I turned a lot of it into fuel to smelt up things. So that's a bit of a bummer, but yeah. So we can make a couple of these guys. And then we'll make a couple of these guys. Cool. And then we can make a few more of the shafts. Perfect. All right. So after we have these cogs, I believe, yeah, we surround it with half slabs. Now we do have quite a few half slabs left from our project in this house here. So let's see how many of these we can make. And that should be all of them. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna start making some stress units here. But let's grab some water so that we can turn the cog wheels. And we need to find a spot. Um, hmm. You know, eventually I would like to have a waterfall, like a little pond over here with a water feature. Um, but I don't think we're gonna do that today. So I think because it's create, we should put it all onto one floor here. And I'm gonna put this into this wall today. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we put nine here pretty comfortably, which is good. Let me go ahead and clear this out real quick. Okay, so we got it cleared out in a string of glass here. So now what we're gonna do is, let's see. Is this the way we want it? Um, I need to put it this way. The water will be coming down here. Now there is a way to make this really efficient by using soul sand back here with water streams going up and it'll really force it to go around and around, but we're not gonna utilize that just yet. Um, we'll use it later. So that's what we're gonna do. 
then I think we'll frame this in like this. So on each side, and then we'll probably put some glass just here to make it look decent. Just right there, um, so that it still fits in. But very cool. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is place these. Oh, wait a second, I think I've screwed up. Yes, so we are, we will put this like so go okay and then we need to fill actually we're just gonna we're just gonna do all of this while we're here right if we're gonna have to move it eventually why does not words are hard anywho let's get to this so we're gonna make these into whoops that there perfect all right so that is filled up looking awesome so yeah we'll just put those there okay so we are generating stress units with this guy you might not be able to see it but i promise you we are so let's see about what we want to do now so now that we have that yeah create is awesome we have stress units we can do cool things we want to get some crushing wheels eventually. So we're going to need to make these mechanical crafters, which means we're going to need to make these brass casings and these electron tubes, which needs polishing, polish rose quartz and an iron plate. Uh, looks like we can use the immersive engineering one. So we're going to use that because it just needs this little hammer to work. Right, and then with these guys here, we need a brass ingot, which we can make in an alloy kiln. Um, so we need some kiln bricks. This is from Immersive Engineering. We don't need this guy. We need these, which require sandstone and brick. So, hmm. I might need to go find some brick. Yes, after I sleep. All right, so with the proper amount. Whoa, almost messed up. We actually are going to have two of these guys, and I figured because we're going to be using these quite a bit, might as well have them be pretty close. So we're going to just put these bad boys right here. So one, two, three, four. Cool. So that means we can have two alloys being combined at the same time. Now we need to make an engineer's hammer, uh, which is just a string. Perfect. Two iron and two sticks. There we are. It's so nice having everything organized. I highly recommend it. I normally don't do it. And soon we'll be rolling with um, immersive engineering anyway, so it won't really matter all that much. But here we go. We just click that guy and click this guy. Booyah. So now we can go ahead and make the brass. So this is what we want to make here. And we're going to need zinc. We still have enough. Okay, so maybe using iron nuggets is gonna be a good idea. Cause yeah, we don't have a lot of that. Um, we need to combine it with copper, which we don't have, well, we have a lot, but just not smelted up, but that's fine. So boom and boom. So those don't have any fuel. Oh man, running all over the place. We're using blaze rods for these, perfect. Okay, so that's cooking up. We're gonna get brass here pretty soon. All right, we got our brass created here. Oh yeah, we are getting major things done. Very cool. So with that being created, we can make some of these brass casings and we just need some stripped wood. We have not that many, oh geez. So click, 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 and there we go. Perfect, the brass age, we are rolling. So these mechanical crafters, we're gonna need a lot more than four of these. I need to do some harvesting of some weed. Um, and then we're also gonna need to go get some quartz from the nether, which is great because we have fortune now. Okay, so got the quartz that we needed. I actually went ahead and made the rose quartz already. The recipe is really simple, just one quartz and eight redstone. So now we're gonna make three more of these guys. Perfect, those break really easily. Uh, so now we have a total of seven, right? So if these give us three each, then we need this in seven because I believe we need 21. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, so we need a total of 21 of those. So math with turtle. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, the cool thing is we have made one of these hammers as well. Um, so again, we just need seven. Is this going to give us... Yeah, durability. Dang. That would have been cool if we did. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is get the polished thing here, which is just sand and the pepper. So, we have both of those. One, two, three. There we go. So we make the paper. And we're just going to make one for now. Alright, so we hold this in our offhand. We hold this here. And you sand. Maybe two more. Perfect. Okay, so we've got seven of those. So now we can make seven electron tubes. Cool beans. So now we just need a total of seven crafting tables. So we need 28 wood planks to make seven of those. And now we need to go here. We can make the mechanical crafter. Perfect. Oh, we also need to make a wrench while we're here. This guy, and that's going to require... Some gold plates, a cog wheel. Okay. So, one, two, three. You and you have fun and make me a cog or a wrench. I almost said a cog wheel. That's funny. Okay. So, here we are. Do we even have enough room? Is the question. has to be hmm we have a design flaw hmm. okay so it's not going here this is okay we're gonna keep this here we're just gonna have to use this somewhere else um I guess we're just gonna have to put it out here, honestly. It's not super ideal, but you know, it's Minecraft. We're just gonna send it, okay. All right, so that still looks pretty natural. Okay, and that looks pretty natural too, the, the curvature. Wait, can you put these? No, you can't put these down. That's right. Okay. So we need to go. And then I need to block because I am not tall. Three. Actually, I need two blocks. Perfect. Nope, not that. And now it's super important that down at the bottom here, we have these, maybe this. Yes. So these will all converge once we have everything into one item. And so what I want to do is we're going to run a gear to here. <laughs> that sounded super weird. Okay. Um, what I actually need to do is find the Y level of where the wheels Okay, so we're down here at Y level 67. And let's see, negative 311. So 67, negative 309 should put us there. Negative 67, or 67, negative 309. Okay, actually, no. If it's 11, it's 13. That's going to be, it says 67, it's going to be 68, if I'm not mistaken. So if I go over like this, we should run directly into the cog wheel. Or the water. Oh, we're off. How is my math off by one? 
Okay, and so now we can just go straight over. Yep, there we are. Okay. So what this means is that we need to take This guy. Ah, we've hit our first snag. Um, here we go. So we need to go ahead and make something important. So what I'm gonna do is teleport over to here. And you have permission to that on the server if you're like an OP. So don't worry, my friends. I only use it to move around. Suck if you just spawn things in, it takes the fun out of it. Anyway, so we need to make a oh, what's it called again? Kurta. We need to make a gearbox. This guy here. So it's gonna require andesite casing, andesite alloy. We've got those. Perfection. Okay. So here we go. We, we we made a brass casing before we made an andesite casing. That's pretty funny. That normally is the opposite, but that is fine. So let's make a gearbox here. Perfect, and that's just gonna going to allow us to pivot. Um, am I just gonna fall down here? Yeah. So like this, and then now I don't have any blocks. Okay, and so over here now we should see. Yep, that we have our cogwheel. So that is all we need to do. Now, if we want to get a little fun with it, what we can do here, let me see. So we need to break this guy and we're gonna put the bigger cog here. There we go. And so now we made a, so this is gonna spin at the exact same rate, the middle one, but this is gonna be bigger, right? And so this is going to be moving faster, right, speed-wise than that. And so when you pair that up with a little gear, it actually doubles the speed at which you are going. So basic um, gear ratios. If you're a big fan of cars, uh, you might know about this stuff. So we could maybe get away with another gear change. We're gonna try it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this guy here. So as you can see, this is moving way faster than this one. And ideally, we're gonna break this guy. And, oh, overstressed. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, so let's see if we can add one more of these on. It's the first time I've ever done one on the server with overstressed. So. Need to place this here. We need to grab Savata from over there. And over there, we're gonna place this here. Place this. No, still overstressed. Wow. I am rather impressed with this thing. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so I added a couple more here and they are moving again. Um, we have, yeah, I added, I think six or seven more. Now we're we're rolling, which is amazing. Uh, it's becoming nighttime. I feel like it becomes nighttime so fast on this world. Okay, so now we got this thing moving along. Uh, we need to see about making some crushing wheels. So it's gonna utilize quite a bit of andesite alloy all the way around the sides, like so. And then we're gonna need uh, some wood planks. Um, like, oh, nope, not like that. Like these. And then we need some stone. Can it be cobble? Nope, it needs to be smooth stone. Okay, so we just need to smelt it. Or I actually believe I have some smooth stone in here. Oh, we can probably just use, nope, we're gonna use smooth stone. Leave, no, I don't want all of them. Come on, mind. All right, and so now with this, as you can see, we're gonna build. 
and it was pretty quick too but now we have some crushing wheels amazing so what these do is they take items that are coming in through here and they crush them obviously you have picked up on that but now that we have this we need a couple more things so we're gonna have this guy be toggleable um and we're gonna do all the gear changes down below and then we're gonna have it so that we can toggle it on or off with like a flip of a lever um, so that'll be really really handy um let's see here where is the drill mechanical drill this guy here is what we need to make so we need to make one more andesite casing like so there we go andesite casing um yeah let's see missing one iron ingot perfect here we go mechanical drill so what this does is you put a cobblestone generator in front of it and it will um mine the, the cobblestone for you uh, it also mines any block in front of it but typically it's used for cobblestone generators and then those items fall into crushers and you instantly have automated gravel and then you can wash that gravel um i'll show you guys how to do that and you get iron ingots from it so that is the name of the game for us and i need some lover i thought coming to the nether would be a good idea but it doesn't seem to be got a hoglin down there okay Ouch. okay there we go So right now it's pretty easy to turn this guy off so we can utilize the stuff somewhere else. Okay, so let's see here. We can put them like this. We're gonna need one more gear change. I don't actually know if this place is good for a, um, yeah, it's good for create because it's a little short, not a lot, but a little. So I figured we might as well just put it over here with this guy for now. Um, we'll do some minor terraforming here. Okay, so let's see. So these will go here, very good. And then, oh, we should get some glass for this. So right here, I want the cobblestone to be mined here. So this is where the cobblestone will be created. Um, so let's let's build it. Okay, so we've got a 
platform, which is good. Um, this guy, yes, pointed down. Five of them. Um, so we're gonna kind of open this area just a bit, and here is gonna be a good spot to kind of branch over. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, oh yes, glass there. Okay. So I would like for it to come up here. Okay, so now we can take this. I have to place that here. Uh, we need to turn this into a vertical one. All you gotta do is do it like that, and then we bring it up. Okay, so this is all hidden. Perfect. So, I'm gonna make a vertical gearbox and do one of these. Yep, so that will allow us to go here. Ah, we're gonna need, hmm. I actually think we need to come over by one and go up here. So, ah, we're gonna need one more gearbox. Okay, so if we look here, I got it coming up to this gearbox and then it goes into this one and then that goes across over to here. So yeah, these are now working the proper, or they're rotating the proper direction. So that means all we gotta do, I don't know why those are in different ones, but we just gotta bring this up to here. Now we could use kelp to do it extremely easy, but that would be too easy. <laughs> um, acquired there's a um, uh, abandoned portal over here whatever it's called and so what we need to do is this is just gonna save us quite a bit of resources if I, if I think this correctly uh, we need to flip that around
Oh, there we go. Okay, for some reason it was acting funny. Okay, so... We just need... Wait, where did the two gearboxes go that I had? I just made them. What? Did I lose them somewhere? Okay, crisis averted. I just crafted some more. So we're going to go like this. We're going to turn one of these into a vertical. And boom. So this should be rocking and rolling. Why? Wow. So this is going to be a little weird. I do the back two. Okay. I mean, I could just use a sign on this block here, which I'm gonna do. That just makes more sense than having the glass there and the water running down. Okay. There we go. We have the signs. Um, Cool. We are getting gravel. It's very important to throw your items in there because they will be destroyed. <laughs> okay, so now if we look here, the uses for gravel, if you wash it with a, uh, an encased fan, it will get flint or iron nuggets. And so that is the final part of the episode today is we're, gonna, we're going to wash it. Yes. So, we need a propeller, which is going to be four iron sheets, just like this. All right. And we are one short. We do have some andesite. Might as well make just a couple more. Go like this. There we go. So, we do have enough. What I like to do is actually run up to the trees strip the wood like this and then put it there so we don't have to mine it again. And then the V are in here. So there we go, encased fan. All right, so that probably means we're gonna need one more gearbox. Um, so that's funny. All right, so what we're deciding to do is I don't really feel like um, What's that? Cockroach. Get out of here. I don't really feel like making this whole crazy system. So what we're gonna do is just put these here and connect those up. So this should be pushing. Yes. So what? Oh, it's, it's literally not going to do anything because we don't... Oh, jeez. Okay. So let's go ahead and make something to wash. Um, okay, we've got some signs. Okay, so we need to actually change this setup up just a tiny bit. So we need to break. Can I have, oh no, I can't have that. Okay. So this guy is going to be here actually, like so. So we just need to expand this out. Sign here. Sign here, and sign here, and place the water here, it doesn't move. And then we take our mechanical belt. Now we are washing it. And it's 
we either turn into flint or into iron nuggets. As you can see, those are the iron nuggets we have. It's amazing. All right, so we got a lot of gravel that we're going to wash. Okay, so now it's washing them as we're going. We're getting flint and we're getting iron nuggets. So that means we now officially have iron automated on our server, which is amazing. Um, I just need to go mine some andesite. I mean, we're making, we're literally making more of the andesite alloys. So that is amazing. Now, the last thing I want to do, let's see. Now we don't have anything like a vacuum, so we're gonna have to do the filters from Create here. Um, first off, we need to see how far this will push the items. Cause I think we're just gonna do a hopper into a chest for now once they're finished. That way we can at least be collecting them. I can leave this running overnight so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so when does this get washed? Let's see. So it got washed. I think if we put it, were to put it here, Yeah, because remember, there's only like a 12% chance, or what is it? Let's look at uses. Uh, I guess we could do this. This is a long way to do it. Okay. So yeah, there's a 25% chance of flint and a 12% chance of an iron nugget. So a lot of these aren't gonna work. We can just do something like this, because it's not fast. Okay, so there's the flint. Let's see, does it push it along enough? Yes, it does. Okay, so all we need to do then is this, and it is 100% automated. This is gonna keep breaking. Now it's not fast. We can definitely make it faster, but this is 100% automatic iron. We're literally, like we're not using any resources. We're not using anything. We're having automatic iron. Ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, peace out, bye-bye.